<laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I love black in this season. Always in black in the winter. All right, my darlings, happy birthday, Capricorns. Let's see. So this is for the Capricorns who is beginning from the 23rd. Oh my God. 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I am so crazy. I'm like one of those crazy people. But I like crazy. Okay. Because uh, crazy doesn't hurt anyone. All righty. Capis, my Capricorn, you birthday babies. I love my baby Capis. Oh my God, Capis, let's see what is coming now. What is my baby's going to have in 2020? Let's see what my baby's going to have in 2020. Huh, baby Capis? All right, my darlings, let's see what is coming up. Mother Mary wanted to come up. And be a part of the message for 2020 all right okay so all right so we're calling in um the angels and guides of my baby's cappy um who were born from the 23rd until the 29th my baby cappies it's your birthday it's your birthday <laughs> all right i am such a black person so all right, Capis, let's see what's coming up for the Capricorns. All right, Capis. All right, I swear. Okay, Caps. Let's see what is coming up for the Capricorns. Oh, my God. I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> Did you know that people who read can't read for themselves? I can't do this. All right, so... Capis, we have the energy of the ring. So I'm seeing connection coming in where some of you could be getting married, new contracts, uh, new business contracts, that sort of a thing is coming up. So this is wonderful Capricorns, okay? So let's see what else is coming up. I see the energy of the magician for the people who were born on the 24th, the energy of the magician. So this is gonna be fabby, fabby. Fabulous, whatever you want to do in this year, it's a yes, go ahead. All right. Okay, so I see the eye princess is going, I can't do this. I can't. I don't know why I come on camera. I can't do this, Cappy. I can't do this because I see a beginning coming in. Um, For the people who were born on the 25th, this is the energy vibration for the week. I see a beginning coming in and this is going to be fabulous Capricorns. Okay. I had to be on camera for you guys. Uh, normally I try not to be on camera for the weekly readings because I want you guys to be aware of what is happening. Okay. So normally I am really not online for um, you Capricorns. Okay. Because I got to get you know, really the positive vibes to come out. So I choose that you guys see just what is happening for you without me being on the camera. Okay, Cap is, oh my God, Cappy, 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 Cappy. All right. All right, so. Wow, Cap is, this is beautiful. I don't know. I really don't know, Cappy. <laughs> I really don't know. Okay. So we have the sun also coming up. All right. And this energy is for the people who were born. Um, it's going to be an energy that is going to affect a lot of people. Okay. Because I see the, the, the sun coming up. But it's going to be an energy that is going to be, be affecting People who were born on the 26th, you have the energy of the train, okay? And this is good. So the people who are born on the 26th, you have the energy of the train. People who were born on the 27th, I see you have the carousel, the carousel, okay? And this is good. So the train and the carousel, these are fire energies. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then we have the energy of the... um. 
oh the energy of the star the energy of the star is coming up for you guys then we have the energy of the world okay so you have good balance you have success and the energy of the world okay and this is for 23rd 24th 25th 26th 27 okay 28 29 okay so fabulous 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 i can't say anything else my cap is this is just bloody fabulous all right so um cap is the um energy for the week is uh, it is definitely um what what is coming up here is a lot of connection is going to be coming in so what this is basically say is that a lot of connection is going to be coming up so a lot of contracts a lot of contracts a lot of people wants to work with you in this year a lot of new um starts uh, marriages okay it's not a year for love but i see this come up and my guides and angels are saying because this is the energy of contracts but it can be the energy of marriage so some people could get married in this year and it ne never work out it depends on who you are but i see a lot of contracts are coming up for you guys and this is going to be god so let's look at the people oh my god this is like one of the hardest reading i don't mind doing a reading but especially when certain um oh this week it's the week of christmas i love you guys i really hope someone could this week because it's the week of christmas and someone could be getting engaged i see maybe your partner is going to be asking you to marry them oh my god so this is a message for someone out there i think your partner is going to be asking you to marry them um and that's why the energy of the ring comes up okay it's not me don't even think about it don't even think about it capis oh my god capis i'm gonna these cards are very huge but i'm gonna use them because i took out the other elpin cards but i think these cards are so beautiful capricorns this um 2020 after your birthday and this is why i said capi because this week is from the people who were born on the 23rd the 23rd to the to the 29th and whatever is happening in this year for you guys it's it's going to give you a new beginning okay so you could be ending things and it's going to give you a very new beginning um for the people who are born on the 23rd the energy of the sun is here and the energy of the sun is that you're regaining your balance um you're regaining yourself for a couple of years a lot of things have been going on and now you're standing back and taking back your power in this year and it's going to be fabulous because i see a lot of success success with contract success with business success with um networking with people i see positive alignment of energy for you, the people who are born on the 23rd so congratulations and what you guys don't know is that less people were born on the planet on the 23rd of december okay so if you were born on the 23rd of december you're very different from the rest of the people on this planet and i think you will feel it ever since you were a child okay you have gone through so much uh, hardship but it's this year is going to be your lucky year okay especially for the people who were born on the 23rd because 23rd is actually when the day Jesus was born um people say the 25th but it's actually the 23rd okay and this is why especially people who are born on the 23rd is very spiritual very spiritual they are prophets they are the prophets of this planet okay so if you were born on the 23rd go check yourself out because girlfriend boyfriend you have no idea who you are you're one of these blessed persons okay so okay let's see what's coming up for the capricorns who were born on the 23rd of december i see i see i see success it's gonna be party <laughs> oh my god and i have the head all cool so Cappies that was born on the 23rd of December, you are going to be successful. The sun comes out, success is yours. Hit me, girlfriend, hit me, boyfriend. Take this here and take it and make it what is gonna be. I love you. 
All right, so there we go, Capis. What other message is coming up? Bam, 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 Capis. Money is going to be coming in, and I see. Um, Money is going to be coming in, but this is just going to be powerful for you Capricorns on the 23rd of December. It's going to be fabulous because I see a lot of people are going to be connecting with you and a lot of people are going to be um, want to network with you, want to be with you, want to work with you because they see um, the beauty within you. And this is fabulous to have the three of cups and the six of pentacles. This is just fab, fab cabbie. So enjoy your birthday, my darling. Alrighty. So let's look at the people who were born on the 23rd. Wow. Wave your magic one, my darling, because you're going to be taking in and waving in all the luck. It is a lucky year for you. It is a yes. I should say it. I will go back over these. It is a yes. It is a powerful pumping, pumping year um, for you guys. It's fabulous. So here we go. You are dealing with the director of energy and I see you're going to be overcoming a situation. You could be taking on the energy of this person, but you could be taking down this person. So if you were born on the 24th of December, you're going to be up to take on the energy of the king of wands. You're going to be moving, moving, moving through. You're going to be waving your magic wand and expect people to get out of the way in the year um, after your birthday, because you are about to make things happen, the people who are born on the 24th. OMG, OMG, OMG. Oh my God, there is such a pumping energy. All right, so for the people who are born on the 24th, I see um, you're going to be coming out of our chips because you're deciding to move forward and coming out of our chips. So whatever the our chips that you were in, these our chips are going to be leaving your life again, ladies and gentlemen, ask for the extended, um, a birthday reading because now you're going to be knowing when this hardship is going to be leaving your life for the people who are born on the 24th. So the people who are born on the 24th, this is a year where you're using your magic wand, waving out negative situation energies and, and that sort of a thing. Okay. There is definitely marriage that is going to be coming up for you guys. Definitely marriage is going to be coming up for you guys. Five of cups. Um, for the people who were born on the 25th, uh, people who were born on the 25th, for the people who were born on the 25th, I see you're going to be divorcing. I see the end of a contract. You're going to be divorcing um, for some of you and the end for a contract. So whatever is transpiring for the people who were born on the 25th, I see um, the end to a legal situation and I see you're going to be divorcing and there is some um, you could be divorcing from a scorpion. I see some regrets that is coming up. I see you could be divorcing from a scorpion and I see some regrets that is coming up also. So, um, for the people who were born on the 25th, definitely divorce and it is with the ring. So I see you're upset, um, leaving a Scorpio behind. Okay, so for the people on the 25th, I see strong foundation. I see whatever the issue and the situation is. I see strong foundation. Whatever is happening and transpiring, I see strong foundation. You who were born on the 25th, you could divorce in and get in the house. Some of you won't get the house, but some of you will get the house, okay? For the people who were born on the 26th, you have moving forward. This is victory and success. After some deception and a hard time, you're moving forward and you're feeling happy. This is wonderful. This is good. So for the people who were born on the 26th, you have the eight of pentacles. I see this is wonderful. If you have a business, if you're, do, you're going to be doing extremely good in work. So you're moving forward, especially with your business and work. You're going to be extremely successful for the people who were born on the 26th. You also have the nine. You have some worries. You're leaving the worries behind because the worries is under you. The worries is under you and you're leaving this worries behind you. So for the people who are born on the 26th, I see you moving forward. You're victorious and successful. Whatever changes you want to make in this year, go ahead and make the changes because you're going to be happy making the changes. Okay. For the people who were born on the 27th, um, you have the energy of the carousel. 
uh, you have the energy of the carousel now whatever the issue and the situation is I see you're going to be very successful this is a wheel of fortune some of you could be winning the large prey this is going to be good especially for the people who are born on the 27th of December this is uh, fabulous it is wonderful what is coming up you're going to get a new start so I see a new start is here so the wheel of fortune is bringing a new start for the people who are born on the 27th a new start is going to be coming up this is going to be fab fabulous fabulous that's why I am on camera for this reading then you have the six of swords where you you know with you know coming through a situation with a fortune um and receiving a new start i see you moving forward you are just moving forward and this is going to be um fantastic you're moving forward this is going to be fantastic so let's look at the people who were born on the 28 what is happening and what is transpiring for the people who are born on the 28 we have the energy of the star so this is a good year it's a good positive year whatever the issue and the situation is it's a good positive year okay with this year what I'm seeing is that we have the seven um, a lot of opportunities for the people who are born under 28 a lot of opportunities are coming up whatever the issue and the situation is a lot of opportunities are coming up and what is happening and what is transpiring is that I see a lot is going to be coming in your environment the nine of Pentacles is here I see money is coming to you whatever that was happening and transpiring I see the energy of money is coming into you I see you are going to be overcoming a situation you're going to be the star okay so this is fabulous for the people who are born on the 28th people were born under 29 the energy of the world this is good this is positive you are coming out of us um, a time in your life and you're releasing yourself you're coming out of a time in your life and you're releasing yourself and whatever the issue is that you're releasing yourself I see the Empress is coming in so this is very good you people who are born in 29 you're gonna be very lucky money abundance whatever you want changing your car changing your house um materialistic wealth is going to be coming in for you and this is going to be fabulous the next energy is family um you and family are going to be okay there is a balance that is coming up and it's going to be absolutely wonderful it is going to be absolutely absolutely wonderful so ladies and gentlemen i am going to go back through this and i'm not even going to I, I would just want to see what mother mary wants to say because this is so beautiful for you guys so people who were born on the 23rd you have the energy of the sun now the sun is 19 19 and one is 10 so you have a new start the sun you are going to be very very successfully coming out of issue situation you're going to be shining in this year and you have a lot of help and support that is going to be coming in so again people who are born on the 23rd energy of the sun that is 19 okay then you have one then you are zero um then you have three then you have six three and six is nine 19 and nine wonderful wonderful positive alignment of energies um this is just so fabulous so congratulations to the people who were born on the 23rd so this is wonderful absolutely wonderful then as we look at the people who were born on the 24th we have the energy of uh, um, the magician um, the magician and the energy of this person the magician and the energy of this person and it's gonna be good because it's a yes year it's a year where you're going to take on the energy of uh, uh, the director and this is an um, a fire sign energy where you're going to find your passion and you're going to be getting out of the hardship that you have been in for quite some time so you have one one five one one five one one five for you people that was born on the 24 people who were born on the 25 I am seeing um, a contract between you and a scorpion some of you are going to be divorcing a scorpion the energy is just this you're going to be divorcing a scorpion or a scorpion divorcing you um so we have 11 and 9 
uh, whatever the issue is, I see some of you could be getting the house or yeah, I see some of you could be getting the house. So if you have a legal system with a scorpion and you're divorcing a scorpion, I see some of you could be getting the house. Some of you won't get the house. Okay. It depends on who you are, but it has something to do with a contract with a scorpion. And I see some sadness. Okay. Then we have the energy um, for the people who were born on the 26th. You have the train, so that is number seven, eight, and nine. Oh my God. So congratulations. You're going to be victorious over situation. The people who were born on the 26th, money is going to be coming in. I see money is going to be flowing in your life for the people who were born on the 26th. And your worries is going to be over. So whatever the issue and the situation is, you have seven, eight, and nine. Whatever these numbers is for, this is a message from your guiding angels. This is powerful. Use this message. See how you can align yourself with these energy. I love you guys. Enjoy because it's a yes, whatever you decide. If you decide to do a new business, whatever you decide to is a yes because it's going to take you out of the deceptiveness okay and the energy of the carousel for the people who are born on the 27 this is beautiful and you're going to get a new start so the carousel is 10 twice 10 that is 11 um and what is going to be happening is the energy of number six so whatever the issue and the situation is i see the energy of the carousel I see um, a new start is coming up and I see you're going to be relocating some of you or leaving something because you're having a new start. This is just so wonderful. I love you. <laughs> okay, 10, 1, and 6. 10, 1, 6, and 11. 10, 1, 6, and 11. Um, try buying the lottery in um, this year because it's going to be good. This year is going to be a new beginning all over for the people who are born this week from 23rd until 29 okay people who are born under 28 your numbers is 17 7 and 9 17 7 and 9 now I see um, that you're so powerful the energy of the stars are yes whatever you decide to change in this work a lot of opportunities are going to be coming in for you uh, extremely lot of opportunities and what we see here is number nine and number nine is the energy of um a lot of money coming in i see multiple opportunities multiple doors of opportunity is going to be opening for you guys and a lot of money is going to be coming in and um you know it, it's a yes whatever you decide to do in this year it's a yes okay then we look at the people who were born on the 29th I see you um, having financial abundance. I see your life becoming stable. I see happiness and joy. So some of you could be getting married. So the people who are born on the 29th, you could be getting married, becoming a mother. This is coming up for some of you. This is going to be fabulous because I see you buying a new house, moving in a new house. I see new kids, um, baby being born and that sort of a thing. It's also a year of yes for you. Two yeses because the empress is a yes. The world is a yes. Ten, a three yeses and the happy family. It's a yes. Okay. So wonderful, wonderful, positive alignment from energies, whatever that was happening and transpired. This is just so beautiful. So happy. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, whatever started with the people with, who were born on the 23rd, that energy you're going to be having too. So it's this, you can see really for you Capricorns that this is going to be an extremely lucky year because all of these energies that is coming up. Beautiful, 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 okay? Um, one of my favorite, favorite purses is Mother Mary, all my angels and guides, but Mother Mary is just so super and it is the time of Christmas. It is Jesus' mother and the only virgin mary so all of you virgins out there mm -mm, mother mary is the only virgin mary ever lived okay <laughs> mother mary what message you have for the capricorns all right so there's two message from mother mary choose one this one is the message of children okay my heart is filled with love for my children which um uh, create miracles and positive change for them and me and this is so wonderful and it is so true 
Um, you know, there is nothing that my son would do that I would stop loving him because that is unconditional love. It doesn't really matter what your child have done to you that you're going to stop loving your child. You know, I, I you know, if even he's out of line, I'm going to say, honey, you're really out of line now. And I'm going to get him back in line. And no matter, because he's taller than I am, but no matter what he does, I wouldn't stop loving him. And why is because when you are ever a mother and you see a baby and you see that baby comes out and um, I nearly died in Charles Bird. As a matter of fact, I did die. <laughs> um, that was a time that I realized that your soul come out of your body. And for that gift alone, I would never, ever um you know um you know cut the cords with my child never ever but learn something ladies and gentlemen um when you are a mother you have a child you know that this is unconditional love no matter what that child has done that is love the most powerful love you could ever ever have and no matter you you know, each and every one of us come on this planet to learn um, messages. Unconditional love is uh, the most powerful thing. And, uh, um, you know, if even I don't see my child, because uh, we live distance, and when I was in the States, I think it was the most beautiful thing. He will, like, pick me up for Mother's Day. We go out and we get drunk <laughs> and take the taxi home. You know, that sort of a thing. And um, I have seen um, that... People who have kids, and especially if they have a good relationship with their kids, there's always some haters, haters out there that try to ruin the relationship between you and your child. And I'm going to say something to you, ladies and gentlemen. If you meet your child um, friends, whether their girlfriend, their boyfriend, and you know within your soul that that person is not right, tell them. Let them know that the mother knows that because the mother intuition about children and their partners are always right. Don't make the mistake that I have made, okay? There is evil out there, ladies and gentlemen, but never stop loving your child. Enthusiastic. Whatever I am most passionate about is the direction I will follow. And I think that this is a huge message for you Capricorns because it's as if the universe is giving all of you Capricorns that was going through some bad times a helping hand and this is going to help you, okay? I-L-O-V-E, you guys, let me see if I can make the heart, yeah! <laughs> I love you guys. I'm so funny. I I I I'm self thing there. I love you guys. All right, my heart is kind of shifted like it needs an operation. But you know what it means. I love you. I see you next year. Go check out monthly videos, quarterly videos, okay, yearly videos. And remember, you have to be a super extended. And I'm live online on Fridays. Come check me out before this, before Christmas. I love you. Mm. Namaste.